Hi, this is Claire and we're going to continue with some of our trigonometry studies and today we're going to solve for the denominator which means the unknown is going to be on the bottom. For a start we're going to label the sides of this triangle here. So if you'd like to draw a right angle triangle with the base 5 and the hypotenuse x and 30 degrees here. So opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse labeling the sides and opposite the angle in question is O and the third side which is next to the angle is the adjacent. So looking at what we have here if you write down the trig ratio which is so ka toa you can see here we just need to find a ratio that has 30 degrees or it has the angle theta adjacent and hypotenuse and that is cosine because cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. There's no opposite so it can't be tan or sine. So write down the rule. So cos 30 degrees or cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse and now put in the values cos 30 degrees equals the adjacent which is 5 over the unknown which is x so as you can see the unknown is on the bottom here and we have to do some algebra now so we can use cross multiplication so in this case here if you, you want to get x by itself, you'll have to move it to the other side. So you would need to multiply both sides by x, and this would be x multiplied by cos theta, or x cos 30 equals 5. And now you need to get x by itself, you will need to divide out or divide both sides by cos theta. So dividing both sides by cos theta you would get x equals 5 over cos 30 degrees. So now you have x by itself and you have an operation that you can work with on your calculator. So it's going to be 5 divided by cos 30. So the way I like to do this on the calculator is clear at first. I'll just make sure you can see that calculator. And put the divide sign in, I'll put the fraction sign in. So if you have that ability on your calculator, it's nice and easy to do. So on the top, simply put five and then arrow down and then write, type in cos 30 and close the brackets. So now we have five divided by cos 30 and put select equals and you get 5.77. So let's go to two decimal place accuracy. So 5.77, the next number is three. So we can just drop that off. So x equals 5.77. Okay, so some of the things we've looked at here is in this case, we're always going to have the unknown on the bottom. And when you have the unknown on the bottom, you end up dividing by the cos or the trig ratio. So if the unknown's on the top, you times, and if the unknown's on the bottom, you divide. So that's just some little thing that can, you can use to help you. Right, here's another triangle. So if you draw that triangle here, the height is five, the hypotenuse is x, and we have 35 degrees we've been given. Right, okay, so let's look at labeling the sides. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle we've been given is O. And the other side left over is the adjacent. Right. So now looking at that, just making sure that you can really see it. What trig ratio do we use? Well, we don't have anything to do with the adjacent. adjacent so we can we could just use sine because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And we have theta, the opposite, and the hypotenuse. So you can write down the rule. Sine theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. 
and put in the values. Sine 35 equals the opposite, which is 5 over the hypotenuse, which is x. So you could go through the full processes of algebra each time. But in cross multiplication, you can simply swap these two. What's divided on one side of the equals would in fact be in the upstairs position on the other. So these two actually swap. So this could be simply written in the next step as x equals 5 over sine 35. OK, onto your calculator, clear that off. Choose the fraction button, which has a numerator and a denominator. Five on top, arrow down, and then select sign, and then 35 equals. Oops, what's happened there? No, I might just clear that again. So just choose that again. I must have pushed something incorrect there. Divided by sign and then 35 close the bracket enter maybe I didn't close the bracket okay so in this one here you can see it's 8.717 and we'll need to round that one up to a two so write that as 8.72 right next one our third triangle here we have a triangle which has been up, flipped upside down. So you have the hypotenuse opposite the right angle, have the opposite over here, opposite the angle you've been given, and the third side is the adjacent. We always label those sides first. And looking at your trig ratios, you don't have anything to do with the hypotenuse here. So if you don't need the hypotenuse or you haven't got any information about it, it's always tan. So tan theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. And you always put the theta in there. It's just not tan equals opposite over adjacent. It's tan theta. So put in the values. Tan 28 degrees is the opposite, which is 19, and the adjacent, which is x. Now again, you can see that you have an unknown on the bottom, unknown on the bottom down here. So this is uh, an example where you can use cross multiplication. So anything on the top line when it crosses the equals goes to the bottom line and anything on the bottom line or downstairs when it crosses the equals can go upstairs. So they simply swap and that's a quick way of doing algebra. X equals 19 divided by tan 28 degrees and on our calculator clear choose the fraction and 19 divided so arrow down and tan 28 degrees close the brackets equals and it equals 35.733. So to two decimal places, it's just 35.73. So I'll write that down. And of course, you would include any units that would be on these. These could be metres or centimetres or some other unit. So that's how you do that. Um, and I hope you understood that. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.